Hello everyone, my name is Andre and today we're not actually gonna watch Dragon Ball Z Abridged, we are actually doing an unboxing. So, as I've told you in a few videos back, I was actually buying a new phone. It's going to replace my current phone, which is the camera that's actually filming this video. And because of that, I decided why not do an unboxing and post it on YouTube, because, you know, unboxings tend to be quite popular. And I thought maybe the people that watch me uh, will be interested. So I decided to do something along those lines. I think it will be fun. I hope you guys really enjoy it. So, as you guys all know, the most important thing about any unboxing is, obviously, the knife. It's not the box, nor the, the content of said box. It's the knife. And I'm proud to announce that I have a very special knife in order to open my beautiful package here. So as you can see, I have this beautiful, and if you can see it, it's this marvelous knife. Now, I know what you're thinking. Isn't that just a normal kitchen knife? No, no, no. You will be so mistaken. <laughs> this is a fantastic special knife. It was made with the Damascus steel, forged in the, the fires of Mount Doom. It's a knife who forger, who the forger actually spent 300 nights and 300 days folding it and smacking his hammer. It's a very, very special knife and it's not just a cheap knife that I bought in a 10 pack for like a pound. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, no, this is actually a very special knife. You trust what I say to you. You trust me. So, uh, here's the box. As you can see, it's in perfect state and it's not damaged at all. <laughs> yeah, this seems like it's going to be really well. Um, I don't know if you can see the damage. <laughs> so it came in the best damage as, as as well as it could be, I guess. So... How about we open it, shall we? So here we are, a new angle, everyone. How are you doing? As you can see, you can see my beautiful hands right here. As you can see, here's the package. Again, very, very damaged. It could be worse, I guess. I guess it could be very much worse. But let's, like, attempt to open it, shall we? And see how the inside actually is. Because this does not seem like something that is good. Again, here's the amazing, beautiful knife. The knife of the chosen ones. This is not, again, again, this is not a simple knife that I bought for like a pound or something like that. This is a beautiful Damascus knife. So let's begin. There it is, as you can see, very protected. Here it is, so yes. This is the phone I bought. Wow. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's on the best condition at all. So I bought a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. As you can see, the box doesn't lie. And the reason why I bought this phone was actually because my current phone, which is a Nexus 6P, uh, is actually uh, not functioning as well as I'd like it. So let's open the package down here. Yes. And let's do this. Here's the inside of the box. I don't know if there's like... There's like something that I can take off, it seems like it. I don't really know, let's attempt to... It's working actually. It doesn't seem to be wanting to come up. I don't know, but this seems like something that comes out. Aha! I knew it! So this is the SIM tray car thing, and inside is like... Um, something. It's not opening. Oh, it's this way. Okay. And inside, it's like all those things that you guys know and, and love, all those pamphlet thingies that 
it's always great. It's always a good read, I guess. No stickers, which is a shame. Apple does have stickers. And this is the phone. I don't know if you can see it well. The phone does not seem damaged, which makes me very happy because I was going to cry if the phone was actually damaged. And this doesn't really matter. Let's see more of it. It seems like it's fine condition. I don't see any mistakes with it. Like you can see, let's see if it's focusing on the phone seems fine so I chose again I chose the Samsung because um, currently I don't think there are any Android phones that can really do what the 6 uh, what the 10 plus can do I was like initially I wanted to buy the um, pixel 4 and I kind of still want it but the thing is that for the price guys uh, it's not worthwhile so because of that, let's peel off the back, shall we? It's a bit dirty, actually. But again, it doesn't show any signs of damage. It has something up here as well. Um, can't seem to peel it off right now. So like I was saying, I wanted to buy the Pixel 4 initially, but then after seeing like what it gave you for the price, it just didn't feel like it was worthwhile, you know? Let's put this aside right now and let's show the rest of the contents of the box. So it comes with a, a USB-C cable as you guys can see, and it's USB, normal USB to USB-C, which is kind of a shame, I gotta be honest, because, as you know, you know, these types of cables, they are, like, short as hell, you know, they, they don't really <laughs> make big cables, and as you can see, uh, you know, USB, and I have an actual big cable from my current phone, because my uh, old cable for my Nexus broke, and it's USB to US, USB-C to USB-C, and because of that, I was kind of hoping that it had, like, an adapter in USB-C to USB, which I might have to buy, but it's not, not really a big deal, I guess. Here's the charger. It has a good charger. This comes with fast charging says here, I don't know if you guys can read it, let's see if I can focus on the... Okay. There it is. As you can see it has fast charging, Samsung, all that good stuff, and then it comes with some cutesy headphones, they, they always do that. Uh, it's actually one of the few companies that still do this type of thing. They seem like nice quality headphones, as I see. You can't hear the sound, so I'm making the sound, you know, that pleasure, that pleasure ASMR sound, you know, let's, let's do that again, let's do that again, shall we? Hey, there it is. So you guys have the ASMR experience. I don't know if this is on camera, I can barely see what I'm doing, actually. So let's release the Kraken. There it is. Beautiful. Oh, and it comes with this, was the, which is the adapters for the years. <laughs> Come in a very interesting... <laughs> I'm a child. Come in a very interesting demeanor, I think. Uh, the cable looks nice, actually. It's like a nice cable. I, I break cables very often, so this is nice, I guess. But no, these are not the Bluetooth ones. Um, if I'm not mistaken, in the United States, this phone actually came on Black Friday with um, the new wireless headphones that Samsung has made. 
but that's not the case for this one. And there's actually one more thing I can unbox, actually, which is this. Here, check it out. So I brought a case. Yes, I do put cases on my phones, every single one of them. This is a Mophie case that I bought off Amazon. And I think it's pretty nice. I think it's pretty elegant. Do tell in the comments what you think of it. I like it. I think it's pretty cool looking. I, and I, I think it's nice. And, you know, um, the problem with these types of bags is that, as you can see, if I, like, do this, it's full of smudges already, and I haven't even done anything to it. So, I think a case looks better in it. That's... Eh? Doesn't that look nice? Doesn't that look nice? I think it does. I personally think it does. We still have to take and peel off like this upper peel thing. There it is. Ah, uh, you can you can hear this one. As let me put this close to the microphone. Ah, ain't that satisfying? Ain't that satisfying, guys? There's also more things to peel. Let's see, here, mm, where is it, see, here on the sides, there's like, this, yes, eh? Right, there is more, uh, where, it's here, that's, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I forgot to make the sounds. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I knew you were counting on me and I failed you. Uh, but there's one more. There's one more. I'll make, I'll, I'll make the sounds now. I'll make it. And... There you go. You can now be ASMR'd. Let's put it back on the case, shall we? Oh, the focus looks like shit. Eh, ain't that pretty. I think it looks nice, I think it looks nice. So let's switch the view because my back hurts and you can see me actually here behind. Hi! Hi! Let's switch the view now and let's talk about specifications, shall we? Because I think you guys like care, I think. <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, usually when I see unboxing videos, that's what they do. They talk about the specs. And I think it's important to at least, you know, talk about the specs because, you know, it's a phone. It's like, if you guys are interested in buying it, at least you can use my video as a review of it, I guess. So let's talk about the specs, shall we? So guys, I have here in front of me a specification sheet in order to like at least inform you somewhat about what the phone can do. Because, you know, I would do multiple videos on it like camera comparisons and stuff like that, but I don't have any other phones, nor the money to buy more. So this is all we are going to get. Um, so again, uh, this phone has like a 6.4 inches screen. Uh, it's HD, it's an AMOLED panel, dynamic actually, AMOLED panel. It supports HDR video and all that good stuff. It has scratch resistant glass, which, uh, yeah, sure. This does not have actually the Qualcomm uh, Snapdragon 855, actually. This has the Echinos version, which is the, it, it's the 9, Echinos 9, 9820. Which is also good. I had it's uh, it's works uh, almost as well as the Snapdragon one. However, and this is something that you guys might care if you like, if you think the the um, percent uh, I can't speak right now. If you think that you know things like the um, the memory, the RAM of the. Um, it's uh, the, pro the processor is actually important because the chip it has on the Note 10 
for instance, the Note 10 Plus uh, on the Snapdragon version, which is the American version, is still the Snapdragon 855, but on the Echinos version, it's actually the next Echinos, uh, the next version. So if you are thinking of buying a phone, and at least one of these Samsung phones, either the S10 Plus or the Note 10 Plus, and uh, the processing of the phone is something that you care about deeply, uh, you at least should know that this phone has the older version of the Echinos one, if you live in Europe, of course, if you don't, then just buy the Snapdragon one and choose which one you like the most. So, 8 gigs of RAM, it, mine actually has like 128 gigabytes of internal storage, but one of the things that actually made me buy this phone was the fact that it has micro SD card expansion up to 512 gigabytes, which is kind of nice. A lot of phones don't do that now anymore. I, at least I, I didn't find a lot of like nice phones with nice cameras that still did this um, this uh, expansion. They usually just have like a set gigabyte internal storage. Uh, it comes with Samsung's One UI and soon they are going to release the One UI 2 which is their own like skin for Android. Again, the reason why I had a Nexus phone and the reason why I really wanted um, the uh, the Nexus, uh, the Nexus, the Pixel 4 was actually because of the skins. I don't really like skins on my Android phones. I like pure Android experience. I really enjoy it on my Nexus. And I really wanted the, the, the Pixel 4 because of that. However, again, like I have said, you know, the Pixel is just not that good of a phone for the price that it is. And to buy, to spend that much money on a phone that is not worthwhile, even if you just like the brand, it's not worthwhile, at least for me personally. So I had to make a decision. And unfortunately, again, I can't do comparisons. I can't do anything like that because I don't have the capabilities to do so. However, if I ever got the opportunity to be proven wrong, I would really appreciate it. Because again, I still think that the Google is a gorgeous phone, the Google Pixel 1, the 4. It's a gorgeous phone and I, I would very much like to have it, but again, this phone is just better. And it's still a good looking phone and Samsung makes very, very good phones. So uh, I'm not regretful at all of buying this phone. I'm really happy with it. and. Uh, yeah, so it has a 4,100 million power battery. Again, it has the quick charge that it, it has. It actually has wireless charging and wireless power sharing, which makes this phone actually a wireless charger, for those who don't know. There's an option here, which you can turn on. And if you put a phone, well, I have to take this, the case off. But if you were to put a phone here, around this area, which is where the, um, the copper cables for the, um, actually the, um, what's it called, the wireless charging are located, it can actually be reversed and actually send power instead. So it's a neat feature, I guess. Uh, it has three cameras, as you can guys see. One, two, three. It has... <coughs> the main camera is 12 meg megapixel. I don't know which one it is, but I think it's this one. Right here. It's 12 meg megapixels. Uh, it has uh, OIS, which is Optical Image Stabilization, if you don't know what it is. Uh, and it has face detection of... Uh, face? I think it wants to say face, but it's with PH, which is wrong. But it has uh, autofocus. Uh, then you have a 12 megapixel telephoto camera with, with OIS as well. And the uh, FDA, the phase detection autofocus as well. Finally, you have an ultra wide 16 megapixel camera, which does not have, unfortunately, OIS. Which, again, it's important. Um, Image stabilization, you know, a lot of phones can do it with like software, but having an integrated OIS on a phone, on a camera, is very important. Especially if you like to do video recording, which is my case. I actually use a stand, uh, um, so it doesn't really bother me. 
But if I were to use the phone to shoot something else, uh, it actually, and I wanted like a, a wider, you know, uh, thing, it, it wouldn't really work, which is sad, but it's fine, I guess. Uh, video recording, it records Ultra HD 4K and 60 frames per second, and then it has, you know, all the, all the other things, Full HD at 240 frames per second, and just HD at 960 frames per second, which is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> it's, it's right, it's great, it's, it's really good. High dynamic range, all that good stuff, HDR, which is great, uh, hyperlapse, which is just fast, I guess. Uh, time-lapse videos, digi uh, digital image stabilization. Digital is great. It, it, you know, OIS is better, optical is better, but digital is good as well. And all that good stuff. The front, it has two cameras, <clears throat> which is the two cameras, I think it's 10 megapixels, both of them. Uh, it has ultra focus and high dynamic range. All that good stuff, you know, you are used to it right by now. Let's see if there's something else interesting here. Oh, oh how could I forget? Jesus. It has a headphone jack, guys. And it has a headphone jack. This is something that for me is really important for a phone. It needs to have a headphone jack. It needs to. I can't state how much, Im how important a 3.5 millimeter jack is. Yes, it needs, it needs it. It's important. And Oh, it has Dolby Atmos. Dolby Atmos is actually pretty nice sound way, sound based. And then it has like uh, it's USB C. It's reversible. It's great. All that good stuff. You guys know the rest. It, there is nothing really more important to say. Uh, if you want this, uh, there's like a ceramic version. I bought the Prism Prism Black one. There's like a ceramic version. If you guys like that and want that, it's more expensive because the only option to have the ceramic one is actually with the 512 gigabyte storage, which is one of the possibilities of, it, of storage, and it can actually reach one terabyte, which the, the normal glass one does not reach one terabyte, if I'm not mistaken. So guys, think about it carefully if you want to buy like this phone. So guys, that, that has been the unboxing. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. This is something new for me. I'm not really used to this, so I do apologize if it sounds like poorly done. Um, again, it's really a new experience. I have not, I'm not really used to do like unboxings and stuff like that. You know, on my normal videos is just me sitting here as you guys see me now and just looking at the screen and laughing or uh, commentary and stuff like that. So this is new. This is new. From now on, the videos will be shot on this phone. Um, I really hope the quality improves because that's something for me that it's important. I want you guys to, you know, to be able to see a lot of, uh, to be able to see quality, uh, you know. Uh, I want you guys to, I want you guys to see me do all these things in the best quality possible, and I don't have an actual camera, you know, a DSLR or something along those lines. I don't have an actual camera to shoot these videos. And because of that, I actually have to do it with my phone. And, you know, there are a lot of things that I want to improve. I want to improve the audio, I want to improve the image, and this is the first step to improving the image. Hopefully soon, one of these days, I'll buy a microphone so that I can put it like around here and like make better reactions and make better better content for you guys because I really want you guys to enjoy the best way possible and the more and the most quality content I can possibly give you. It's something that for me is really important and I really want you guys to be happy with what I make. And I really hope like you guys enjoy this video. Uh, hopefully you like it and maybe I'll do something like this again. Hopefully, uh, I enjoyed making this. I think it's fun. I, I like unboxings personally, so I think it's fun like to do uh, and talk about stuff. And you know, you, you really don't want to see this knife retire. You know, this Damascus steel, totally not, you know, totally not sore bought knife. You know, and if you want to buy it for one lucky viewer, it's just nine ninety nine.
<laughs> no kidding. But like, you don't want the knife to retire. Please don't retire the- please don't retire the knife, look at it, it's sad, it's sad. I'm joking. But I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much uh, for watching. Please share with your friends if you liked it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!